So welcome Valentine's Day special tutorial. Hi, welcome to my tutorial Parak Ke Par. Today we are discuss about the rise and fall method, which is very 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 interesting and which can which helps to follow to finding out the um, change point of RR reduced length and uh, it is important to in practice in practices and uh, to make the survey simple and easy. So come on, let's go check it out. So Parake Paul tutorials, welcome guys. So this numerical is deal with the rise and fall method. Okay, so here is a numerical. The following successive reading were taken with a dumpy level along a chain at a common interval of 20 meter. Give it up, 20 meter. The first reading here, the first reading is told that the first reading was taken at chain of 140 meter. Okay, it is important point. The RL that means the reduced length of second chain was 107.25 meter. Here, the numerical says that the instrument was shifted. That means the in instrument gets shifted after third and seventh. So at first starting, we are get a change point at third and seventh position readings. Okay. Now we determine we are to calculate the reduced length of all the points. Here the some readings are given 3.150, 2.245, 1.125. 3 .8 .60, 2.125, 0.7602.235, 0.4700, 1.935, 3.225, 3.890. All values are in meter. Okay. So, so, rise and fall. Okay. So, this method is dealing with the for finding out. the reduce length okay so for finding out the reduced length this all our values are very important here the numerical said that the third and seventh reading is shifted the instrument is get shifted after third and seventh reading so that the third reading is to be 1.125 at this point the instrument is get shifted and at seventh reading that means one two three calculate readings measured from one two three that is third point and one two three four five six seven that two point two three five so we are done here third and here seven okay so now here also one point is tell us that that the first reading was taken on a chain of 140 meter so here the 13 here here the 11 reading are given but in fact 11 up to in 11 the three two readings are at a chain point so we have to calculate only nine points nine reduced length of the rl so a 140 meter that means a 140 and here it is that is common interval of the 20 so that 150 after 20 that 160 after 180 after 200 so the by the distance of the 20 20 meter the rl the chain is get reduces so how to fill all this data in a table data table for proceeding for the data table here here guys as we know that the change of here this data the common interval of 20 and 140 the first reading was taken at the chain of the 40 meter 140 so that we are put this value in that chain so here is 140 Okay, now they tell that the 2020 distance. So we are putting all this value up to the 9th level. So that at 2 second point, the value is 160 after 180, then 200, then 220, then 240, then 260, then 280, and then 300. Is okay with you? Then BS. We wanted to BS put the BS at this point. Here we know that the 3.150 is a first reading at the at the numerical. And they tell that the third point that is a checkpoint. So we are put the third point in the fixed FS. So put the 3.150 point in the BS. And one point 
Here we know that the 2.245, listen here, see, the 3.1.50 is a starting point that is BS and 1.125 is a, the point where, where the total distance is measured so that it is third point. So put all these values. Okay, so 3.125 is put here, then we are put the 2.245 because this value is between the 3.150 and 1.125 and put the 1.1 is a FS, okay, 1.125. It is a total procedure to put the up to the third point. Now, at this place, at this place, put the value of the starting that is fourth side of the after third reading that is 3.25. 860. So, what is the meaning of this total displacement? At this point, the the instrument measuring start. This point, the instrument is measure the distance, and that point, the instrument is get shifted. Also, the instrument at this point get take a reading. So that's why. Similarly, that means what? Here we know that here some graph is. According to all these readings, we are make the some graph so that see here. Here suppose a length at the higher level and this goes down then a higher and then goes down. That means why here some checkpoints at the, at certain certain checkpoint the value gets on a higher level and some get lower level. So with the help of this we can calculate all the reduced length of the points. Now fill up the second point 2.150125 then 0 0.760 then 0. 470 similarly do all the steps 325 it is only the filling of the points in the this table okay so 3.890 now the numerical tell us that that it gives the 107 is the rl of the second chain what is the second chain is 2.3235 so 2.235 is here 2.3 235 sorry 235 okay it is a 2.235 and we they give the rl of this length so rl is this bracket okay we are putting the rl of value at this point okay so we are putting the value 107.25 okay this point 107.25 we put here now very interesting term here now friends, now in this step we are calculating the rise and fall of the RL. Okay, so how it calculated? Here a step. Here see here, 3.150 get minus minus the term 2.245 from this term. Okay, so here a term minus that means 3.150 minus 2.245. Okay, then. 2.245 minus 1.125 we get with the help of this we are getting the 2 rise value 2 rise or 2 fall whatever the value okay then 3.860 minus 2.1525 we are getting another value then 2.125.0.760 we are getting another value and then 2.235 the do this uh, calculation we are getting another value similarly here also we are getting the another value okay so it is a sequence with the help of sequence we are getting some value such that 3.150 minus 2.245 we are getting the value 0 0.905 sorry it is positive value we are getting so 0 0.905 then we are getting value 1.12 then we are getting the value rise 645 then we are getting the value 1.365 then the value is getting negligible so that minus 1.475 1.465 1.29 0 0.66 okay these value are in minus but already i discussed here there is a minus sign so don't try to the minus sign here okay now the final condition here are one thing is a um, disturbed at that we know that after the third and seventh point we are getting a checkpoint in the numerical so this third point 3.36 draw right here in a rima checkpoint as a cp and at 2.235 we are getting a checkpoint so right here cp 
okay now how to calculate the rl at another level so here also same make minus 1 107.25 minus 1.465 we are getting value 105.75 similarly 105 minus 1.25 we get value 104.46 and 104 minus 46 get 103.795 now it is all in minus term so then i wanted to remaining term also so make the 107.25 minus 1.365 you get the value 108.69 108 minus 69 make the value 107.32 similarly do this thing up to the at level 105.59 same 104.47 and make the all distance is to be the form makes this point minus this point we get 103.56 okay this is all the level now it is very important to conclude that summation of bs minus summation of fs okay summation of bs minus summation of fs so here summation of bf minus fs is 0 0.23 and summation of rise minus summation of fall is equals to 0 0.23 so that that means the all value both value are getting equal so that your rise and fall method is right thank you thank you sanket thank you